Welcome to another episode of Core NFL Recaps. My name's Legacy. And I'm Max. I'm Bobby. I'm Jay. All right, guys. We're back for another week. We're going to week five, baby. All right. Week six. Week six, baby. <laughs> Sorry, I, I think he did this last week. I think, yeah, I think last week I said week like five and I keep or week four or something. Yeah. You'll get it right one of these days. Yeah, yep, I will. Sooner or later. It is what it is. All right, so we're recording this on a Monday. So the only game that is going to be happening right now that we're not going to be able to talk about is the Broncos Chargers. All right, my Thursday night game. Another slobber knocker. Yeah. It was the good old Commanders versus the Bears. At the okay. very least in this game, we got two touchdowns. Carson Wentz going 7-0 and on Thursday night. Yep, he didn't play that well, but uh, supposedly he played with a broken finger. So I guess uh, for the whole second half. So I guess. Uh, and we'll be out four it. to six weeks, they say. Yep. I mean, look, he, they say he broke his ring finger. And if you've ever thrown a football, that's one of the most important yeah. fingers to have on a football. So I'm not surprised. And who knows? This may be it for him and he may need to retire or something. But uh, <laughs> I'm tired of seeing my man struggle. So maybe we'll see what happens. Maybe uh, they'll, if they. Let's say he go, uh, misses the next four games, which is projected to, and they go 0-4. They may just go back to Howell. Or Ron Rivera could say, oh, hey, well, I, I didn't get a whole season with Wentz, so I get I get to keep my job, right? You know, I do think, you I mean, eventually you got to go to Howell just to see if you have anything. The only, the only thing I can see uh, is Ron Rivera. He's such a veterans coach. He might not do that. He may be forced to. I don't know. That game was so boring, I forgot all about it until you mentioned it. Yeah, uh, the crazy thing was the Bears went like 0 for 3 in the red zone. Like, they, they could move the ball, but when they got down there, it was like they couldn't score at all. Well, yeah. I was in Justin Field was so close to leading that touchdown job, but Darnell Mooney dropped it. I mean, he, he did. He was a defender right in his face. But I mean, not much to be said about this game. Two, two bad teams. Not exactly uh, expected to be a slobber knocker, and it was not. Um, we're going to go into our next game. It was my New England Patriots beating the Browns 38-15. to Zappy, two touchdowns, 300 yards. Um, Quarterback Stevenson, controversy. Steven Sen, 76 yards, two TDs. Look, I've, I've seen some uh, rumblings, not, not from anybody on the Patriots, of course, but uh, oh. the internet's all about the quarterback controversy, Philip. Yeah, they, they just need a storyline. No, he's – Mac Jones is still the – Mac Jones is still the guy, but, you know – Zappy's not been doing bad, so and it's the Browns. Calm down, it, it's the Browns. They're they're not that good. So they played the Bears team. Monday night, so they're probably four and three. Hey, but yeah. Phil, you, know, you got to think. What if Zappy's the next Brady and Mac Jones is the next Drew Bledsoe? You know what? If that's the case, great. Like this is his first week where he played really. Like the other weeks he was okay, but yeah, this, this week, week he played well. Played well. I will say Belichick's still showing you he can still win it. But, you know, we'll, we'll see in time what happens. I mean, maybe I mean, that's Patriots true, looking but... pretty good lately, though. I mean, yeah. three and three with this, with a uh, third string quarterback uh, who I believe is, he started two games, so he's two and oh. Hmm. And they almost, and he did pretty okay against the Packers. I mean, they almost had that game, too. Look, I don't get what people try to say Belichick couldn't coach. He's, he's probably the best coach or top three coach of all time in the NFL. You know, these people on TV and social media have a take. I mean, Bill Bel- if Bill Belichick gets the team to playoffs, which I don't expect, if he does, he should be second in coaching of the year besides Brian Dayball. Or, or Salah, if they have Jets make playoffs. Salah, too, yeah. yeah. We'll talk about them a little bit later. But, yeah, both the New York teams doing well. And then as far as the Browns are concerned, I mean, you're getting kind of upset now. The season started off pretty okay, and now you're 2-4. and four. Jacoby Brissett's looking a little bit worse each week. So, I mean, you're really trying to buy time to Deshaun Watson comes back, but who knows what that record's going to be looking like when he does get back. You may be out of it already. If he gets more accusations, they know well, that, uh-uh. Yeah, yeah. Well, do you expect the NFL to do anything about it? I don't think so. No. They, they he, had, he, had, he had like 30 women come after him. He only got 11 games. So what's one more? Uh, that's not half a game. Yeah, he'll get another half, yeah. We'll go to our next game. We're going to go into uh, – the upset, uh, surprising upset, the Buccaneers falling to the Steelers, and that I believe is three straight losses, or is it two straight losses? They they won two, lost two, won one, lost one. 
Okay. Yeah. Kenny Pickett played, and then he got hurt. So then they really lost to Mr. Biscuit. Yeah, Mr. Biscuit actually, his numbers look pretty good. Nine for 12, 144 yards, one touchdown. Yeah, had a Claypool sighting and everything. Yeah, I know. Um, Claypool came back. But this is probably a story more of the Buccaneers not finishing off their drives because yeah. they were horrible in the red zone. Um, they were bad in the red zone. Also, bad on third downs as well. <laughs> Um, Which was surprising considering the Steelers were missing Mika Fitzpatrick, of course, T.J. Watt, and I believe they were missing a lot of other defenders too. So they really struggled against this Steelers defense, which was operating at mm, maybe like 70% strength. And they and he had Chris Godwin, Mike Evans, um, yeah. Russell Gage, and all of them, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, everybody. Julio Jones was his only injury right yeah. at the moment. So, so yeah, I was very yeah, surprised that they did this. Yeah, I, I was pretty shocked too. Um, I think it, it's a little, it's starting to get maybe like, I'm not saying like full on horrible, but probably a little bit worrisome for yeah. the Buccaneers. That should, the uh, line just did not look good. Yeah, the well, offensive line has been looks and, struggling. And it's yet another like weekly uh, outburst from Brady. <laughs> so. Well, look, look, I'm telling you, this man said, I'm getting divorced because of y'all, and this is how y'all block for me? Well, like, apparently he went to a, he went to Robert Kraft's wedding on Friday, and mm-hmm. then did, uh, and then was, like, showed that they, like, didn't do basically anything Saturday with the team, and then so the chemistry is just not there, because he's just not as committed, it seems like. Well, I mean, well, and his life, his uh, yeah. personal life seems well, to be falling apart, so. Yeah, I mean, I think that has to do with it, too, but. <laughs> And I'd be shocked if they don't win this division. And I would still expect no, them to be still... a legitimate Super Bowl contender because that defense – and the offense ain't going to be bad forever. I mean, they, they, they're they going to put it together. So I, probably, I don't think I'm worried yet. You can win 9 or 10 games and get the division. Right. They got an easy dub next week. They play the Panthers. That's an easy victory. Yeah, they'll get that. Yep, they'll win. And also I would say that we're going to get into more later, but the NFC, the NFC has not had any teams that you're really scared of. Defense was eh, it was okay, but again, the defense has been showing out pretty much every game. Last game was probably the only one where they were like a little shaky. You would expect them to destroy Mitch Trubisky with how that right. defense has been playing. All right, we're going to go into our classic good time. Um, it is going to be our kitten corner. Take it away, Vitamin J and D3. PJ Walker is not very good. The offense is still really bad. But I mean, you expect that the defense had to score the touchdowns again. Because they know Peter Paul was bad when all of his completions, except for one, was like behind the line of scrimmage. Yeah, well, one of y'all said he had one net yard or whatever. I don't know what the stat was. Yeah, so he, well, yeah so he, one, he's bad. And two, the co- coaches clearly don't trust him to throw the ball. I do like that Steve Wilk stood up for um, his coaching staff by kicking Robbie Anderson out. So that was cool. Matt Rule would have never done that. Oh, no, he definitely would not have. Obviously, the Rams still didn't look good to me. No, as a Rams fan, you can't feel confident that you were trailing the Panthers at some point. I don't know what's going on with Stafford, but he's struggling. He's not the uh, one, I'm telling y'all. No, he is. He, he's fine. I think that, I think they'll eventually be fine. If you win a Super Bowl, it's hard to still have the same motivation <laughs> the next year. Like, people got to understand. Not much, there's not as much to prove this year for him. I think, again, just like Tampa Bay, I think they'll make the playoffs. But right now, if I had to put money on it, I would bet, just my feeling, I bet Tampa Bay pulls it together first. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. Hmm. But, guys, you know, the thing is positive. We did get an Allen Robinson sighting. Yeah, he caught a touchdown. That was a good catch, yeah, he, too. He did. Yeah, they actually used him. That was nice. I think the uh, the fans should start Jacob Eason next week because you got to be <laughs> – just to see what you have. <laughs> Because what was it? Hunter said that uh, supposedly, let me see how many pass attempts he had. Uh, PJ Walker had 16 pass attempts, and supposedly only one of them traveled past the line of scrimmage. The rest were like screens. I'm, I wonder, uh, I didn't look. I need to see how many uh, catches like a running back had versus the re- receivers because it seemed like he just kept checking down to McCaffrey. McCaffrey had seven receptions. Yeah, DJ Moore had three catches for seven yards. Yeah, I know. Ouch. <laughs> Dude, it's a, okay. According to Pro Football Reference, PJ Walker's intended air yards ye- during yesterday's game was two. <laughs> His intended air yards per pass attempt was 0.1. I've never, ever seen one that low, ever. Nowadays, era, you got DJ Moore who averaged just a little over two yards of reception, like with three. I didn't think he, that's even possible. 
That's tough. That's really yeah, that's, that ain't even thinking you could even average that little as a receiver ever. I didn't think any quarterback can get there. That's how it is. Um, but hey, it was your first uh, Matt Rule less Panthers game, so yep. I mean, and, and still pretty much went exactly the same formula. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I agree. Start Jacob Eason. Maybe he's not going to be good either. But you know, he at least throw the ball downfield at I wish, least. I wish Matt Crowder didn't get hurt, so you can see what you have in him. Yeah, it's a real shame. As long, I just want the to get a top two pick, either like I said, Young or Stroud. Let's get one of those two. Why well, you'll take Will Levis? <laughs> I can't trust the guy who puts mayo in his. That's coffee. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. This dude puts mayo in his coffee. You cannot trust a man with that sort of decision making to yes. run your franchise. You can't do it. That's just gross. That's gross. Please, I don't even drink coffee, but that's disgusting. Put mayonnaise in any liquid. Just the thought of that is disgusting. Um, ew. Undraftable at this point. Just like that. All right, so yes. uh, we're gonna move on to our next one. Um, it was another kind of upset, but this team's surging a little bit. It was the 49ers versus the Falcons. Um, and Falcons coming out victorious. Jim G having two touchdowns, but I believe two interceptions. Brandon Ayuk, two touchdowns, but three total touchdowns for Mariota doing things and trying to, you know, keep the Falcons a little in the playoff hunt, maybe. I mean, right now they are. This is a big win for them. Uh, Arthur Smith is making uh, Mariota efficient. He's not exactly passing for a lot of yards or anything like that, but, I mean, 13 for 14, 129 yards, two touchdowns, and also a rushing touchdown. This man knows how to use Mariota. Still not the long-term solution there, I don't think. But they're, I mean, 3-3, three and three, a lot more competitive than anyone thought. No, well, I'm fine with the Falcons winning because, I mean, it gives them less and less chance to get a good quarterback. They already drafted the Ritter, so maybe they're just waiting on him. But, you know, I'll give Mariota this. He proved that he still sucks, but he does know that Kyle Pitts does exist. Yeah, he's still at 19 yards. Though. He's still not getting the yards. Yeah. Year. <laughs> I'm not happy, yeah. but he kind of touched out. I was pretty surprised. This was the week of this was the week of upsets. There was like three or four upsets this week, yeah, like major upsets. Speaking of upsets, we're going to move into the next game. If I had told you these two teams' this record, this team would have a better record than this other team going into week week seven, you would have smacked me and been like, "Philip, you are crazy. You are drunk. You're an idiot." We said last week this team has been such. I told people from the beginning. I thought this team's gonna not would not win the division, and because, but it's looking like this team's in some trouble. Um, it is the Jets over the Green Bay Packers, and not just beat the Packers, dominated the Packers. Mm-hmm. They can't throw the ball and they can't run the ball right now. I understand how they're not getting any sort of use out of their running backs right now. Let me th- throw out some stats for you: Rodgers, forty-one passes; G. Dillon, ten carries; Aaron Jones. I'm carries and Jones three receptions, AJ Dillon four receptions. How the hell is your best, one of your best players not? And it was ball? raining a lot during that game, and they still wouldn't run the ball. I was like, I have no clue what they're doing offensively. Aaron Rodgers looks like he is fed up. I don't yeah. know if he's like inside. He's just like I'm just so done with this team, kind of like <laughs> Brady is maybe right now. But I just don't see the fire there for like anybody on that offense. And even the defense has been um, – so the defense was supposed to be one of the best in the league, and I think they've underachieved so far this oh, week. Oh, 100%. And again, they, play, they play the commanders this week. If they lose to the commanders, I mean, uh, you panic, panic. I, I think what people mistook was, one, Matt LaFleur. I've always been a little questionable of how good of a coach he is because I know he's gone to NFC Championship games. I never – over and over he showed – he's made some dumb mistakes that I'm like, I don't think he's as good as a coach as – Everybody makes him out to be. No, he's basically uh, been helped by Rodgers. He's, he's had a lot of – next, I think that defense is better playing with a lead, and unfortunately they haven't had many leads. But even with some of the leads, they haven't been able to sustain them except like last week. But I think that defense is more set to play with a lead, and they've usually had the luxury of, of, of having, oh, Aaron Rodgers usually is going to give us a lead. We can just pass rush. But once a team, they don't have the lead, now a team can run on us. Now a team can do all these things. We're not so good. Special teams finally, like, didn't do well for them. And that's always right. been an issue. Um, that's been an issue for pretty long. And then, um, I mean, the Jets, man. Their the Jets, defense but, has been far better than anybody could have predicted. Those draft picks have been good. Because they spent a lot, quite a bit of draft picks on, those, on that defense. 
Uh, Offensively, they still didn't do too much in this game. Again, the weather impacted that, but the defense just dominated the Packers. Uh, and then the Jets have a blocked field goal or blocked punt for a touchdown as well. Uh, well, Brees Hall also had uh, 116 yards and a touchdown. So running wise, he did. They did pretty well. Uh, and Rogers QBR yeah. for the year is 38.5, and his lowest before mm. his lowest before this is 52.5. Dang, mm. he's way below his uh, average. Yeah. So he's, he's mm. struggling. The Devontae Adams trade, I wasn't, uh, I didn't like it, but I didn't hate it because I did get a lot for him. But I thought they would try to replace him, and they did not. Uh, one in their history has made you think. They're well, I mean, him. I, I thought you know, years. well, I you know, <clears throat> people change, and I thought they would because okay, Rogers was. You know, I'm, am I leaving? Am I staying? They got Aaron Rodgers to stay, so I thought, okay, now they have a plan. They must have a plan to replace Devontae Adams, right? No. No. Uh, uh, again, Packers have been shielded by the fact they got Aaron Rodgers and Brett Favre. I don't think that organization's actually as good as it's been out to be. It just had some really good quarterback play that carried them along the way. Detroit sucked for years. Chicago's been up and down. Minnesota's been up and down. Packers fans, I'm sorry. This is not going to be your Super Bowl year. I'll tell you that no. much. I still think you probably have a shot at playoffs because the NFC is still going to be close. <laughs> if they lose this week to the Commanders, I think, one, I think it guarantees they're not making playoffs. If you lose to the Commanders, you're done. And then you'll hear some people talk about Matt LaFleur over being overrated, stuff like that. So I think the rumors will start with Rodgers if people are going to be like, is Rodgers going to want to stay another year with them losing? I know he has a big contract, but you know somebody will give up a king's ransom for him. <laughs> He's he already talk- said that his decision is going to be dependent on the receivers. And uh, if, th- if this is any indication, he's not coming back. I think he will come back. He has way too much money to, on the table to not come back. I think he does, but I think some he might just demand a trade. He might try and get a trade or something. I think he might start saying, yeah, maybe I need to get out of here. I think the trade rumors will be rampant once again. With how bad they play. I just, I mean, I just don't know where he'd go. I mean, I, who wouldn't take him, I guess? The Patriots could, or they don't believe Mac Jones is the guy. I'll, I'll take Rodgers. Yeah, because Bell's like, I don't have, you know, all those many years left coaching. I need, can't really rebuild. Yeah, he's definitely, he's like, I need to win now. Patriots would definitely take him. Saints could, I guess. Yeah. All right. Welcome to the mountain. Oh, we're going to go into the, to the next game. Of a team that, you know, these two teams, since we were talking about them weeks ago, I know. have gone two different ways. Yeah. Um, it was the Colts over the Jaguars, 27-30, before um, Matt Ryan's 389 yards, three TDs, 58 pass attempts, man. Yeah. And the, yeah. Uh, He finally looked like an NFL quarterback this week. This was his first mm-hmm. good game, complete game. And uh looks like the Colts could potentially take – control of this division they played the titans this week and i think the winner of that game could probably win a division but don't hold me to it because i just said two weeks ago that the jaguars will win it so i don't know what the hell's going on with this division or the jaguars crap shoot i'm so disappointed with them i mean i thought they were looking at now they just scored 27 points and they'd ha- they still look better than they have been in previous years mm-hmm. but that's not saying much and then at the end on that uh, fourth down play they allowed that game ceiling touchdown when they could have just allowed a field goal potentially had a chance to win the game yeah bad 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 I don't know what to make of Jacksonville anymore. So a way to win it without Jonathan Taylor. So, but backup running back did pretty well. Deion Jackson or oh, backup backup running back, he did pretty good. He did pretty well. Duke boy, that's a Duke guy. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. We might be talking about another Duke guy. I don't know. Yeah, we just Duke might. Be, we just might <laughs> be talking about another Duke guy. Who knows? All right, we're gonna go into the next game. Um, the Minnesota Vikings going becoming five and one. As they took down the Miami Dolphins, Dolphins once again their starter getting hurt, and then yeah, bring in another guy <laughs> like the Lord knows. I was about to say, can the Miami Dolphins go one week without the quarterback getting hurt? I know they're taking a beating. I actually thought Skylar uh, Thompson, I think his name is. I thought he looked pretty good for the few drives I watched him on. He looked pretty fast and accurate. So they might have a little developmental prospect there. He then he hurt his hand. At least it wasn't a concussion this time. And then Teddy Bridgewater came in through 300 yards. I mean, look, anytime you have these weapons, you you can you can put up some numbers. But Dolphin fans have to be upset that they were three and one, beating good teams, and now three and three. But I mean, they didn't lose to a bad team. Yeah. Two was supposed to be back this week, though. Should be interesting. Um, Tyreek still got 12 
12 yard, 12 receptions, 177 yards. Uh, Tyreek Eason, no matter who's a quarterback, he's, yeah, he's quarterback Ty- proof. He's, he's got 700 yards already. That's that's crazy. Oh my gosh, Jalen Waddle too. I mean, how many has he got? He's got like probably about 600. Uh, 533. He's got 533. My goodness. So they're Mm-mm. both they're gonna ease. They're both gonna easily clear a thousand. <laughs> Probably oh, fifteen hundred. What are you talking about? Uh, oh yeah, it's Tyreek's definitely getting like fifteen hundred. Yeah. He's, he's on pace got... to break Calvin Johnson's record. Dang, it was ridiculous. But the Vikings um, five and one. I mean, who would have thought the best three records in FC would be Eagles six and zero, oh, Vikings five and one, and then uh, Giants five and one. Anyone had that in their bingo card? I didn't have that. Nope. Did not. No, no, definitely did not have that. But somebody did have them win division, and you know. That was me. At this rate, you're getting that. You're getting that. <laughs> I was like, this might be the year. Just one of those weird years where the Vikings, somebody besides the Packers win it. So, yeah, looking pretty good. Dalvin Cook pulled off a nice 53-yard uh, yeah. touchdown. I, I want to um, say, and no one on the Vikings really went off this week. Kirk played a clean, efficient game. Nothing crazy under 200 yards passing, but two touchdowns. Dalvin Cook. With a 53-yard touchdown. I mean, nothing crazy. Having this week, good, solid defense. But, uh, you know, 5-1 and one's 5-1. Yeah. and one. Like, yeah, it hasn't been like we're going to destroy anybody, but the team just – sometimes the name of the game is just win the game. That's Jeff- it. Just Jefferson's win. at 654 yards, so he's not too far behind yeah. Tyreek. Okay. It's going to be interesting. Got some QBs airing it out, receivers doing work. Speaking of receivers doing work, we're going to go to probably arguably – Three receiver, it's just whatever order you want to put these guys in. Uh, we talked about Cup already, we talked about Jefferson. We're going to the next guy and Jamar Chase talking about the Bengals over the Saints. He had a hundred seven receptions, 130, 132 yards. Or Jamar Chase with two TDs, Joe Burrow, three touchdowns. Um, I think Mixon all right, also caught a touchdown. Where uh, versus these Saints, guys, what did you think? Oh, my fantasy team loved that baby. Joe Burr to Jamar Chase. I take some of that every week. Yeah, Bengals offense finally looks like they're starting to click a little. Mm-hmm. I mean, the Saints, though, I mean, they gave them a good game. Especially, again, without the top three receivers, Bengals defense was looking mighty, mighty uh, suspect this past week. You see Andy Dalton hurt his back, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Dang, I, no, I didn't see that. Is he not playing? I don't know. Too early to tell. Dang. Hey, everybody getting hurt that back team. Yet? Um, he'll probably be back. I think they were holding. I think he can play, but I think they're holding him out because they didn't want to officially bench him. You know, so they're kind of waiting to see what Andy Dalton would do, see if he could make them make their decision for them. That's crazy that both Saints quarterbacks have back issues right now. Yeah, it says right here, uh, Dennis Allen has not yet committed to who's playing Thursday night. They're ready for Taysom Hill. <laughs> not sure. How crazy would that be? Uh, I will give them the fact that uh, this team plays. But he's a tight end. The Saints have been a lot more competitive than I thought they would be this year. So they, they've been in and they, games. And they've they still lost the Panthers some lull. Yeah. Well, except for the, that was like probably their one of their least or lesser competitive games. But they gave the Bengals a game. They gave the Bron- uh, the Buccaneers a game. I mean, they've been... The big competitive still, um, but I have them going to the playoffs, so they are disappointing to me so far. Mm, doing exactly what I thought. I didn't think they were going to the playoffs. All right, speaking of that uh, division, we are going into the big game of this, one of the big games of this week. Uh, <laughs> it was the game. Ravens losing to the Giants. Giants moving 5-1. and one. Danny Dimes, and what's his other name, Vitamin J? Vanilla Vic. Yeah. One of the <laughs> I mean, what are they going to do when he actually has to throw the ball, though? Because he hasn't even thrown 200 yards but once. He got two You'll times. see when they play the Eagles. We'll see on third down. They're doing what they need to do. Look, Phil, as of now, Dave Ball is my choice for coach of the year. Because their 5 and 1 was some of the least amount of talent I've seen. I don't know. What about Robert Sala? He's up there. Yeah, but they're not 5 and 1, though. They're 4 and 2. It's in the conversation, but yeah. Off of teams that I think are going to keep it up, I think the Giants are more likely to keep it up than the Jets. But, hey, they're both a good job to both of them. Shout out to both of them. Doing work. Um, but we're going, to t- we're going to talk about these Giants. Once again, another comeback. You're really seeing Brian Dayball showing you a fourth, uh, second half adjustments as they were down 7-10, to 10, 7 at half. So, once again, coming out with the – they've been doing pretty well, especially – 
in their uh, second half, most of their scoring coming there. Uh, big drives. Uh, I will say one thing: they've had, they've done pretty well with like some long drives of like chewing the clock up, running the ball, and basically he's doing what you think what you think the Packers would be doing. This is the difference between a good and a or a good and a great coach of somebody realizing my best player is my running back. I'm going to feed him the ball as much as I can and get him in opportunities. I'm also going to mask my quarterback. My receiving talent isn't great. Let me mask it, figure out different ways to work around it. Let's say the Giants do make the playoffs, right? And let's just say Daniel Jones keeps this level of pace up. He doesn't he doesn't stink and he doesn't play like amazing. Do you pay this? Do you extend that? Or do you just say I can do this with another guy too? That will be fascinating. That's gonna be pretty that's gonna be a decision. Um, I think they'll end up extending him if they do that because then Dayball may think another year in my system, I can get him better. But it will well, but still it will be and I would fair. like to I see what they do. Well also how about get them some receivers that stay healthy? I mean, look, yeah, they try like to be fair, they have tried to get receivers, they just keep missing. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of like with the but, Eagles when, when Wentz was there. They tried to get receivers. They just struck out every single time. Uh, with Daniel Jones, the good thing is he hasn't played well enough that he could demand too much money from you. So that might be another thing they might look at of like, well, he's good enough, and he's not going to be like asking for $40 million. In right, but cap. I still he, think he's not going to ask for anything less than 30 and is he worth 30 I don't know. Yeah, because it's kind of like, well, what else is out there? Because he's going to – he's playing you well. He – he are, they've already played themselves out of a top two pick. If they still had a top two Bro, pick, yeah, then, they're not even close to top two. And you were one hundred percent fine, and you're like, okay, cool, we're moving on. But yeah, um, but big win. I mean, uh, I guess I had to say they're somewhat for real now. I still think they're getting clapped by the Eagles, though. I mean, it must be a good time to be a New York sports fan. Every single team in New York has a winning record, unless you're a Mets fan, since they lost. Oh well, yeah, the- <laughs> they still <laughs> had a good season though. Now. Right. That is, that, so, good time crazy. to be a New Yorker, aside from the Knicks. They're not going to do anything. Well, I don't know. They got some <laughs> offensive firepower. Stop it. <laughs> uh, the other team, I think, the while Lamar has played well, this game was probably more lackluster. It was, it was a bad standards recently. Giants mm. um, defense has been great. Game. I mean. Oh yeah. Uh, they they've they've picked that well. They've done well with their draft picks. Now mm-hmm. the other side of the ball. Uh, the Ravens' defense has huh. given up a lot of leads because they're up by 10 yeah. points at one point in this game. Third right? time this year they lost a the game that way. Well, that's what Kryptonite is. They just can't hold a lead. Well, I mean, Lamar Jackson also like turned the ball over like twice within six minutes. Yeah, that interception was horrendous. Yeah, it was. So he's no longer on the MVP uh, hunt at the moment. No. Definitely taking a bunch of hits. But still time. We'll see which way they go because, yeah, that, that could be one of those costly – Losses for them for the uh, to win the division now that the both seem like they're starting to figure out their offense. Uh, other thing I will say, Giants have a pretty easy schedule coming up. Besides the Eagles, I think the rest of the games aren't too bad. Yeah, the only know, thing with the bad. Giants is that literally every single game they played has been within one score, and they've looks like they played down to the competition. It's Panthers nineteen to sixteen, Bears twenty to twelve. So I mean they they're winning the games, but they're not exactly dominating. So it looks like they are they could be they could lose to a team that's not better than them with the way they kind of keep it close. Let's go ahead and go to uh, real quick. We'll do Seahawks versus Cardinals. Uh, Cliff Kingsbury's seat is getting red hot. He's next. Yes. Yeah. yeah he he he's he's next. He he came out today and said that he is okay. He said he'd be up to uh, getting. Letting someone else do play calls. I'm like, you should have thought about that a while ago, pal. Mm-hmm. Kyla Murray Man. has been struggling this year, under six yards per pass attempt through, through the first six games for the whole season. They do get um, DeAndre Hopkins back, but then they just lost Marquise Brown for about six weeks. Did get Robbie Anderson, but is that a plus? Who knows? Not with that attitude. Yep. <laughs> but I'm sure I'll be happy you're playing for the Cardinals, which they're only one game better than the Panthers, but still, they'll probably be around 500 for the year. But the biggest upset, or the biggest thing that upset me about this game is that Geno Smith didn't like tear it up this week. I need that man to go off every week. Yeah, no, it's disappointing. To keep not writing back, that that's been his thing. He he, he mm-hmm. it seems like he wrote back, but but yet another NFC team that's been 
really competitive, much more competitive than anyone thought. Because a lot of people said they'll be the worst team in the league. Yeah. So I, they're three and three. I put them at four wins. I think. <laughs> so that's mm. obviously. Well, they got happen. three already. <laughs> yep. So mm. I was way off. Pete Carroll, I mean, doing a heck of a job. Yeah. A lot of people online th- always think he's a terrible coach, but uh, he's doing a heck of a job with this team. Still a good coach. Like, yeah, I, the last couple of years haven't been great. But, like, people, we, we just overreact too much of, like, oh, see, he's not that. It's like, no, during that during that run, they were a dom- – like, he went back-to-back Super Bowls. They were a dominant mm-hmm. defense. Like, let's not forget what he, those teams he had were really good. Uh, let's get into probably the big game of the day, probably the Super the the AFC Championship preview, um, possibly. It was the Bills over the Chiefs. The Bills coming big. This is like the first game in a while where the person, the last team with the ball, was like uh, did not win. Yeah, technically the Bills had it at the end, but they're kneeling. But the last right, right, right. he did a pick. Yeah, um, the Bills right. exercise some demons here. Yep. And and if we don't get them again in the playoffs, then something really bad happened to one of those two teams. Who else in the AFC even has a chance? No one. These are the top two clear teams. I suppose the Chargers could hang with them, but, I mean, Chiefs and Bills are clearly the top two teams. It's not even close. Well, the good thing for the Bills, this is a big game for you of, one, getting that. Uh, this was a big game either way. One, because this is probably going to decide home field advantage right now. So, Bills, right. you just got to leg up because you now got the tiebreaker. Mm-hmm. Um, a huge, that, huge that game. Season. And for a bigger sport, I think, like, uh, I was listening to Colin Cowherd talk about this. I'm not going to compare equally, but this is going to be basically the next Brady. Um, it, oh, like, yeah. It might mm-hmm. be the next two, two just slobber, not grabbacks every time mm-hmm. they go at it. It's it's going to be huge. All right. These are the so. best two quarterbacks in the league. And Bill's defense played well, even with missing their starting safety. I think that and Sir Davis White still isn't there, so they did a pretty good against uh, Patrick mm-hmm. Mahomes through two picks. They really they they fooled him real bad in that last pick. That was a real bad throw for him. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah. they 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 got him. There was a Juju Smith Schuster. Yeah, that was a heck of a play. Um, of what I was kind of expecting of him this year of like, ah, oh, he's still gonna be good. He's got a good quarterback. He's the number two. Um, and single, I'll give it props. Uh, Singletary, they did well with the run game this week, but Bills, because that I felt was like a little bit of the difference. Yeah. Well, also, how, how about that hurdle from Josh Allen? I mean, he cleared that. Mm-hmm. Maybe get touched. I mean, that was beautiful. Oh, that that was amazing. Who does one of these teams buy and get McCaffrey? Not with the picks the Panthers want. Yeah, but in a fantasy world, that would be pretty interesting if one of them, because that really would be like cementing you got something i mean like yeah that. i i think he'd be he'd get more targets and looks on the chiefs than the bills because they i think they target the running backs more throwing but yeah both these legit super bowl contenders so with and the end him i mean you're making your already top offense even better but i just don't see anyone paying up that kind of draft picks for him for half a season's worth of use well i guess that he's on a contract for next year yeah, but the contract yeah I just don't see one investing first round picks in a running back who's already getting hurt. What if he gets hurt again? You're, then you're stuck and you wasted a first round pick. I saw the 49ers were interested. I'm like, dude, if he goes there, he's guaranteed to get hurt. <laughs> yeah, 49ers have running back injuries. I mean, that happens every week almost. Oh, shout out for that. I saw some, there was one of the highlights. That beautiful dime he threw to uh, Stefan Diggs and that for the touchdown on yeah. uh, Josh Allen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, kind of putting him. Because right now, it's his MVP to lose at the moment. Holmes is like right behind him, but I think that game just gave him the lead in the MVP. So this might be his year. Right. Oh, he's he's the MVP right now for sure. Let's talk about the primetime game. Uh, big rivalry game. Mm-hmm. I know Max over there is happy as his Eagles beat the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm a little disappointed that they let the Cowboys come back a little bit, but. I mean, they exposed Cooper Rush. So the Cooper Rush hype train is pretty much dead now. They'll get Dak back, and we'll see what happens with that. But uh, six and zero, baby, and they don't play this week, so they're going to go seven weeks without a loss. And they're definitely, I think, a legit Super Bowl contender. I don't know if they'll win it, but if they, I think, they have a legit shot to get there for sure. That defense is just nasty. Darius Slay and Bradbury are playing like Lito Shepard and Sheldon Brown back in the day, or Troy Vincent and Bobby Taylor. That's so good that they're they playing. And this defense is up there with the 2017 defense. Might even be better. But yeah, Jalen Hurts looking good. Two passing touchdowns. Didn't get his rushing touchdown. 
but he's still looking like uh, he's going to be the guy. If he keeps this up, he'll, he's going to get a fat contract from Harry Roseman. Oh, and yeah. uh, and Cowboys suck. Third place. Yep, right now, third place. I think Dale uh, Jones Dak, can never. Dak, <laughs> I think Dak versus uh, Cooper Rush debate kind of ended this week. And then kind of ended. Um, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, it's done. Yeah. <laughs> No, I think we we're putting that to bed because I haven't heard anything after this weekend. Also, another game I will once again say they're missing Amari Cooper, uh, CD Lamb. Yeah, they missed uh, him for that inter that inter one of those interceptions. CD Lamb, like I get it, it was thrown horribly, but hit the safety or corner or something. Do something. Don't just let them pick it off and you just look at it and like oh whatever. Like do something. Just funny because Shannon was talking about it earlier. A uh, great job to the Eagles, still doing work. Miles Sanders, I see now got another touchdown added to his name. He doing work. Whole team doing work. Can I just make one thing? Who on earth saw that the NFC? Like we all trashed the NFC East, but it's looking <laughs> like the best division right now. I don't it, think they are, but record wise, yeah. record wise, it's got a six and zero team, five and one, and a four and two. I don't think it's the best, but it's also not the worst that we all thought it was going to be. No. It's definitely not the worst. Granted, wait, no, we all knew the IFC South. But the second worst, it's not second worst division. It's not looking like right. second worst. Looking middle of the pack right now. Got it, some team with a Super Bowl contender. The Giants and the Cowboys that are probably making playoffs. So. Right. Two, yeah, two of those teams will probably make playoffs, at least. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Barring any clocks. All right. right. So let's go ahead. The big things we're going to watch is second coach to get fired this week. Is second coach get fired? Kingsbury. Yeah, Kingsbury. Yep. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's another week. Let's go ahead. Thank you guys again for your likes and subscribing, um, and watching. Uh, keep it up. My name's Legacy. My name's Max. Vitamin J. And Hunter. All right. And may discussions begin. Bye. <laughs>